Hello and welcome to the Crafty Diamond. I am Debbie. Today I am going to be working on a whip and chat where I am going to work on a diamond painting and be chatting for a little bit. So grab whatever you'd like to work on and let's get started. I'm going to be working on Carousel Pony from Bella Art Diamonds and I love how it's coming out so far. When I am finished, I will show you what I've done. And I've got this one section here we're going to be working on. It's going to be quite a bit of pinks. And I probably won't get a lot done because there's going to be a lot of single placing um, from on the section that I am on. And so we'll just have to wait and see. But first of all, let me go over what I'm using. For my pen, I am using Enablers Outpost. For my single placer, I am using glue dots. And my multi placer, I am using Patsy Putty. I love this putty. It smells really good. I wish we had smell a vision. Wouldn't that be cool? And then you could also smell how delicious that this putty is. I'm also using a tray from Firefly Fireworks. And then a cover minder just to pull back my plastic, I am using from Bella Art Day Nicole. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, how is everybody doing? I would love to hear how your week has gone. How was your weekend? It is Monday for me. And if you're watching this when it is released, it will be Tuesday morning for you guys. And it has just been a busy week just doing um, stuff that's related to work. We did start back on Monday and last Monday and today is a holiday so schools are closed. So I'm glad because it is really cold out. We are supposed to get some snow, not much of an accumulation, but when they hear the word snow around here, people go absolutely crazy crazy and I went to the store yesterday my youngest daughter and I went and it was just like a madhouse there and it's only supposed to be snow flurries possibility of some ice and some sleet maybe a little bit of accumulation but it's not supposed to be that much but it was hard to find a lot of items that we needed and I just went because I usually go weekly and it was time for me to go back. And I knew that was going to be bad whenever we left. And I told Paige, we're just going to have to have patience and just to go. I had a list, you know, get what we need and then just get out. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But it's still kind of funny because when... Atlanta hears the word snow. Doesn't matter if it is in the North Georgia mountains. Doesn't even matter if it's in a different state. When they hear the word snow, they go all out like they're going to be hunkered down for days. And we typically don't get snow. We don't get that much if we do get snow. And it's been years since we had a bad snowstorm. And they're not predicting anything major right now. But some of the schools are already closing for tomorrow. And those are the northern schools. But there is um, a county that's already closed that is fairly close to us. So I don't know how that's going to affect schools around here. And it really doesn't affect us since Paige is no longer in school. We don't have any kids in school. But it does affect traffic sometimes. And if schools are closed... But most of the time, my campus where I work is going to be closed or it's going to be delayed. And I typically work from home on Tuesdays anyway. So I should be okay no matter what. And if it does get bad, then we don't go. So I don't like driving in it anyway. Paige is supposed to work on Tuesday. But if the weather conditions are not favorable... They'll just tell her to stay home anyway because they won't have enough people at the restaurant where she works. They won't have enough customers 
for her to have to worry about working. So that will be good because I don't like driving in it anyway. So I'm going to be changing colors quite a bit, it looks like. Now I need to look for a smiley face, or that's what I call it. So how is the weather where everybody is? I have friends that are in Tennessee and they're getting really bad weather and they don't usually get bad weather either. But I do not plan on getting out today because it is freezing. Even my dogs have decided that they don't want to go out. They went out this morning and that was enough for them. They have not even bothered, but every time that I get on a video, that's when they decide it's time that they need to either start playing or they need to go or whatever it might be. I am missing, what am I missing? Let's see, oh, that's why. Nope, that's in there, okay. I am not finding, I'm trying to see if I'm missing a container that I have somewhere else or if I'm just completely overlooking it, which I could be. I have several new subscribers and thank you so much for that. And I also have several that are new, quite a few new subscribers that are group members in my Facebook group. And if you are not familiar with what a whip and chat is, that is a work in progress. And I am just going to be chatting and just working on this gorgeous painting. I might be in some areas where you may have a hard time seeing me diamond painting. Um, just a couple of small sections that I cannot see on the screen very well, but I need to get that part done because it is part of what you guys can, can see. And I think most people that will watch Whip and Tats, they don't really watch them, they just listen, or at least that's what I do. So if you do watch and I'm out of frame for just a couple of minutes, that is why. I'm also trying my best to stay out of it. I don't want my head to be in the frame. I just changed out the glue dot and this one is going to be a little wonky until I can get it good and started. There's a little bit of a glare to this, and I do apologize. It is so dreary out. I have to have overhead lights on. And one of my lights, I have can lights in my craft room. And one of the lights is right over my table. I keep planning on seeing if we can change that. I know my husband can, but it'll have to be sometime in the spring or summer because he'll have to get up in the attic and it's just too cold up there right now. In the summer, it's gonna to be too hot. So probably early spring, he'll be able to take care of that for me. That's what I'm hoping anyway. I am in our basement. My craft area is in the basement, which I do like because it's away from the main level of the house. So if I wanna keep it messy, I can. I'm trying to keep it straightened up and for the most part I am. I don't like it when it gets messy because when it does get messy then I tend to get overwhelmed, can't find anything and then I don't want to work on anything. And I do like to work on cards which I have really gotten behind on my church cards and also for cards for soldiers. I haven't even started on a new box yet for this year. So I need to work on that some and I plan on doing that soon. I just haven't 
I'm going to make a bunch of cards that um, they're going to be similar. And then that way I can just have an assembly line going, which will be really nice. And then I'll be able to get some cards knocked out. I have to get some cards done for my church. I'm sure they're going to start running low because we have not had card group since the early part of December. We usually take a break from December until close to the end of January. So I'm sure that my church is starting to run low. So I do need to get back to that. We're going to start card group here in the next couple of weeks. But I have just been enjoying diamond painting and organizing my diamond paintings, which desperately needed it. I'm still working on organizing. There are some that I may de-stash, and I know of one, definitely, and maybe two others that I'm going to de-stash in the Josephine Wall group within the next few weeks. And starting to prepare for the Josephine Wall event, but I do have my Paint Gym Mini event that's coming up in February, and that is where a lot of my new subscribers and followers are coming from for that event. It's going to be very laid back, so if you have a Paint Gym Mini or if you'd like to order one, they ship very quickly. They do ship in the U.S., within the U.S., so it does come faster than some of the other companies that might ship directly from China. So you still have plenty of time if you would like to join us. I haven't decided which Paint Gym mini set that I want to work on. I would like to work on two to get two knocked out in February because I do have several and I have several that I've had kitted up for a while that I think would be nice to go ahead and get that done so I can de-kit and then be able to kit up some another one but every once in a while, I will work on a paint gym mini if I want to diamond paint, but I don't want to do anything large. If I only have maybe 45 minutes to an hour, then I will just get one of my paint gym minis out. So I've gotten several done, but I have not completed an entire set in a long time. So I'd like to get a set completed. And I'm looking at doing the doors because I think the doors are just really cute. They're really pretty. And I did buy a frame for those. So I'd like to go ahead and get that framed. Get those finished and framed. And then I can put those on my hall wall. That's what I'm thinking going into our foyer. I've always had an obsession with doors. I don't know what's about doors. I love to look at ornate doors. And whenever we go to Charleston, which I haven't gone in years, I always like to look at some of the antebellum homes. And I like to look at all of the doors. I, take, I even take photos of the doors. And I think that my oldest, Maddie... I think they have decided that they're not going to have their wedding in San Diego, in California, because it's just going to be too expensive. And her family is here. Her friends are here. And he has some friends here, too, when they lived here in Georgia. And so it wouldn't be too far to go to Charleston. It would be easier on her family and his family was going to have to travel anyway, no matter where they went. And the venue they were looking at in San Diego was absolutely beautiful. But the venue was very expensive 
just to rent the place. It was at least $8,000 just to rent it. And that didn't include anything except for setting up and taking down. Didn't include, you know, any food. Didn't include the DJs. Didn't include help. Nothing. So I told her, you know, that that's going to be really expensive. And she should think about the budget that she's been given. And how much that her and her dad and I are planning on paying for this wedding. And when I say her, I'm also referring to her fiance and then his family, what they're doing. And I get that it is, you know, the responsibility of the bride's family or that's tradition. But I flat out told her and I told her dad that I am not paying half for a huge elaborate wedding. I am not going to go in debt for her to have a nice wedding that I will pay X amount of dollars. And when that is used up, then that's it. I'm not adding any more to it. So they need to figure out exactly what they want to do. She wants to have it outside. They're not going to have a huge wedding. And so I don't see any point in spending just thousands and thousands of dollars on a wedding when it's going to be a small ceremony. And they're also wanting to take a really nice honeymoon. And I said, you can use the money that would go towards a really nice elaborate wedding and use that towards your honeymoon. So I think that's what they're going to do. You know, it's still going to be a very nice wedding. It's not going to be a plain wedding or anything like that, but I just don't see it. I told her, I said, you're going to spend, if you do, if you decide to go and the San Diego route, the venue that you're looking at, you're going to easily spend $20,000. And there's no way I am not paying that much. I'm not even paying half of that. It's just, I just not going to do it. So they started adding everything up and she didn't think it was going to be that much, but I told her, you know, I'm an accountant. I can just budget in my head and I can tell you that it's not going to be what you think it's going to be. And then you're going to end up having to pay on this wedding for a while. And that's what a good friend of hers is doing and told her that even though, you know, she really enjoyed the wedding, she loved it, it was beautiful, that they kind of regret it. They spent a lot of money on food and on the open bar. And so she did realize, yeah, that does add up. So I am glad that it's going to be closer. It's not 100% confirmed yet, but I'm almost positive that it's going to be in Charleston or somewhere around there, which isn't that far from us. And we all love Charleston. So I think that that will be a fun place for her to get married. And where she wants to get married is outside. They have an outside area. And if it rains, then they can have it inside. So I'm thinking that is... That's where they're leaning anyway. So we'll see. And that way we don't have to drive cross country because my husband will not fly. And we were going to have to drive about 17 to 20 hours to go to San Diego. Because he told me, I know you don't like to ride in a car that long, and if you want to fly, I can just meet you. Well, I'm not going to do that to him. That's not, you know, fair to make him sit in the car that long, and then I am flying. And then, of course, Paige will be flying with me, but we're, we would have had to drive. So I am really excited for that. And I told her, I said, if you're going to have it closer to home, the money that I was going to have to spend for transportation, whatever that was going to look like, going to San Diego, then I will put that towards your wedding. So we still have plenty of time. She's not getting married until next year, 
but time goes by so fast and if you don't go ahead and lock in a venue and the date then you're going to have to get whatever's left over and they have you know, a specific date that they would like so we'll see and i think that her dad is going to fly her and kyle to Charleston and so they can look at this venue if they decide that's one they're really interested in. So that will be nice. Then I'll just drive or I may fly out to meet them. Just depends on when it is. I have a, an event coming up or a retreat coming up that I'm going to in March and I'm looking forward to that one a little nervous about that one not really nervous I should say anxious would be a better word because it is a Bible journaling retreat never been to a Bible journaling retreat before my best friend and I have taken Bible journaling classes that lasted you know maybe a couple of hours but we've never taken a, we've never done a retreat, a specific retreat. We've gone on crafting retreats and we'd work on cards or, you know, whatever we decided to work on. And, you know, that was fun. Everybody did their own thing. But this, they're going to have classes and devotionals. And I am just concerned that I don't have everything that we're going to need to take with us. And they haven't said yet what we need to bring. So hopefully I have everything that I need. And if not, that I have time to order. Because when I Bible journal, I like to Bible journal in a Bible journaling coloring book. And on, I know that most people have Bibles that they would like to Bible journal in. But I just, I don't. I don't want to do that. I don't want to cover up my Bible. I don't want to cover up the word with oxides and sprays and different things like that. And then some of the, I know that some there are some Bible journals that you can purchase that specifically for that. I did get one years ago, but the pages are so thin that everything bleeds through. And I don't like that either. So I like my Bible journaling coloring book. And so we'll see if that will be okay to take. So I don't know if these people are going to be, you know, really over our heads. Or I should say mine. Kind of concerned about some of the classes. Am I going to be okay? I'm going to be okay with it, but it'll be fun no matter what. And then that's going to be in March. And then in June, we will have the Great Lakes Retreat. And if you're going to the Great Lakes Retreat, I would love to hear from you. I went last year and that was so much fun. It is in Ohio. I do have to fly into Michigan. But definitely looking forward to that. I don't know what diamond painting that I'm going to take to Great Lakes Retreat yet. You know, I still have plenty of time. More than likely, I'm going to take something that I'm already working on because... I feel like that last year it took me a day or that evening when we started diamond painting to really focus on the canvas to decide what I wanted to work on on that section of the canvas and then also to get familiar with where the drills are, the symbols, you know, that kind of thing. So I think if I take one that I've already started working on, at least I would know where all of these symbols are, all the colors, and I learned a lot last year 
on what to bring, what not to bring. Definitely take some extra bags. Take at least either a really large suitcase or two mediums. I had a carry-on backpack last year that was a rolling backpack and then I had a suitcase and I barely made home everything that I had. It was not easy to get everything home because you get so much while you're there and then if you purchase anything like I did it took up a lot of space so I need to just be careful with what I purchase to purchase don't purchase any diamond paintings which I purchased two last year don't purchase any diamond paintings and then just purchase small things and then if I really want to buy something later if I see something I like from a particular vendor then I can just order it pay for shipping it is still better to pay for shipping than to not be able to get it all in my suitcase or to worry that the weight limit is going to be over the weight limit and have to pay quite a bit more definitely did not want to do that but I am looking forward to it opening an extra day this time. So that will be really nice. I just started settling in last year and it seems like that it was over. So it'll be nice to have an extra day just to relax. And the first day we, would, we don't start diamond painting until the next day. I don't know what color that is. That was in my... Let me take that one out. That was a rogue drill there. Let's see if I can get this out without having to get my tweezers. I don't know if I can. There we go. Okay. I'm not even sure what color that is, but somehow I got a rogue drill in there. Every time that I work on this diamond painting, I think of when my kids were little and when I was younger too with the carousel. I just loved carousels when I was younger. And every time that we would go to the Mid-South Fair, and that was a big thing when I was younger to go to the fair, the first thing that I wanted to ride was the carousel. And I would want to be on there so many times. I just love the carousel. It would take me forever to choose a horse. And then finally my grandmother or my mom or dad would tell me, you know, you're just gonna have to choose a horse because they're about to get started and you're still looking and everyone's getting a horse and you're going to miss out and you're going to be stuck sitting on the little bench if you don't find a horse. So I always wanted the fanciest horse I could find. And so when I saw this one, I thought this is absolutely perfect for me to do. And then my kids also love the carousel. I was going through some old photos because I am going to start on a huge project this summer. And I'm trying to get everything lined up to do this project. I've been putting it off for years and years. And so I don't know how long it's gonna take me. It may take me two or three summers, but I'm going to set up a table outside of the main area where I craft. And I'm gonna go through old scrapbook albums that I did. I've got some that are duplicates. I'm going to go through all of those and then I want to, from going through all those photos, I'm going to have certain pages scanned that I want to keep. The duplicates I'm not going to keep. And then I'm going to have them scanned in and I'm going to have a digital photos or digital scrapbook made 
and give to both of the kids and then I will have one. But when I was going through and just initially looking at some of these albums, I found so many photos of the kids on carousels. And we had several from Disney. And it was the same trip, but we had so many photos that I took of the kids on the carousel. And they were all always on different horses. And then we were also right next to them as they got older. So I think on that one, I pulled out the carousel photos, the ones that I found so far. And then I'm going to make like a collage and put all the carousel horses or carousel photos on there. And then I may put that in my craft room just as a photo collage, which I thought would be kind of cool. And then put this up there next to it. So that would be kind of fun to do. And I'm, once I finish the road I'm on now, I will be halfway finished. So I'm really excited about that. But I thought that would be really cute. And I was just, I just started thinking about carousels as soon as I saw this one. And I thought this is the perfect one to start on. It's a little bit larger than the others that I had gotten from my sneak peek with Bella Art Diamonds, but I am fine with that. The other ones are more so lined up later in the year. If I have time to do them, I should because they are smaller. But this one just brought back so many memories. And then we used to go to the zoo in Memphis a lot when I was younger. I think that on Saturdays for a long time, up until noon, it was free to get into the zoo. And so we didn't have a lot of money when I was growing up. And my dad was also going to college. And so we would go to the zoo quite often because I just, I love the zoo, still do. And they had rides at the zoo kid rides and they had this little carousel and they had on theirs it wasn't just horses on their carousel you know they had tigers and you know all the different larger animals zebras and different things so I had a lot of those too so I thought that was a lot of fun and then at one point I had a carousel music box and it was very similar in color to this one that I'm working on. And unfortunately, one of our moves, it busted and it could not be fixed. So I had to end up getting, I just threw it away because it was busted in half. I was really sad when that busted too. And I thought that I'd buy another one. I never did. And as I've gotten older, I don't have a lot of the as my mother used to call them, dust bunnies, because they collected so much dust, these what naughty things, that's what she also called them, and I don't have a lot of that in my house anymore. Every time that we move, I get rid of something else, so I just don't have a lot of that. And especially when we downsize, I don't need a lot of just things just sitting there for decorations. But if I did, I think I would have another carousel. And I love how these squares just fit in perfectly. I don't know if you're looking or not, but I don't have to force them in. I don't have to worry about popping drills because they're too tight and these are just the perfect size the perfect they're just the perfect shape of course they're you know square so they're they're not there's not any trash I have found just a couple of drills that were like little slivers 
and that's to be expected. Even the darker color drills were fine. Or I should say are fine because we still have a long way to go. But I just love how diamond painting and really any kind of art, it can bring back so many memories that you may not have even thought about. And then you realized, oh yeah, I guess I really do like this. So I knew that, of course, that we loved you know, carousels, but it never really dawned on me on how many times that we would ride a carousel or how we would gravitate towards the carousel until I saw this and started diamond painting. And a lot of times whenever I diamond paint, I just let my mind wander. I don't think about anything. It just whatever pops in my head. And every single time a memory from either my childhood or my kids pops up when I am diamond painting this. And they're all good memories. There's not any bad memories. There is a mall here that has a carousel. It is in their, I guess they call it their atrium. And it's a huge mall. And so when we would go when the kids were little, they didn't, they never wanted to go to the mall. And that was like the place to shop years ago. And so the kids didn't want to go. And if I had to go for some reason to the mall, I would tell them, well, you know, the carousel's there. And immediately, oh yeah, I think I want to go now. And the first thing they'd want to do as soon as we got to the mall would be to go to the carousel area. And when my daughter was home for Christmas and we were going to go to the mall for Bath and Body Works and then just kind of walk around and just because we had nothing else to do one day, the first thing she said was, isn't that, um, is it the mall that we're going to go to? Can we go to the mall that has the carousel? And so I told her that's just way too far and told her where it was. And so she agreed and she said that if we're ever in that area, she wants to go to the mall just so she can ride the carousel. So I thought that was really funny. Let's see. And there's not any gaps on these. Some of these, it's my fault if you see a gap, but especially when I was doing a lot of multi-placing at the bottom, the multi-placing, I mean, it's, it's not perfect, but you can't really tell. My dog is moaning. She is not growling. She is just moaning. I don't know why she does this. I don't know if that's a collie thing. I guess I should research that, but my last collie that we had did that a lot too. If she was really tired or she was stretching out, she would moan like it was just the hardest, most difficult thing for her to do. And my dog is only three, so it's not like she's old and she moans because, you know, she's sore, you know, anything like that. She is, she's always done that, even when she was three months. Okay, some of these I could have actually multi-placed now that I see that on all these percentages, but that's okay. If I am diamond painting by myself, I will multi-place all day long. But when I go to do a video, I like to single place sometimes, most of the time. It's just, for me, I don't really, it's not that I think about it when I single place. I don't know what it is, but I single place better. It's a seven, so that does go there. I single place better when I don't have to, I don't know. And, and I don't even really think about it when I single place. I don't understand. There's just something about trying to do it when I'm on camera and then doing it. And then just doing it by myself. This glue dot is actually doing pretty good considering that I just replaced it. I probably should have my straightener out. That would help on some of this. But 
I can straighten it after the fact. I am using my single placer to kind of move some of these in place a little better. Let's see. I might be able to do this because all of these are the same. Do it like that. I was looking at my stash and also looking to see what I have on my Gems Flow app and also making sure that I have everything that I have purchased on an Excel spreadsheet that I like to keep up with. And thinking of memories, I was looking at some of my DIY or Die Moonshop canvases and sadly they have closed but another company has purchased them so I don't know if they're going to change anything or if they're going to keep the way that their current company say they already had a company they were just adding to it I wasn't sure how that was going to look but anyway the earlier DIY moon shops, it was so much fun to purchase those. And I guess that's why I have so many in my stash. And the quality was hit or miss. I mean, the quality started out really good. And then it kind of just went downhill afterwards. But their earlier versions of their canvases... It was really fun because it did take a long time to get the canvas, but you knew that going in. You knew that it was going to take, you know, a couple of months or at least a couple of months before you would get your canvas. But it was fun because it was like unwrapping a surprise and unwrapping a present. They would wrap it very elegantly, you know, really pretty bows, and it was very well secured whenever they mailed it, and you could also see videos of them prepping the canvas that you purchased, and if you had any special drills, they would include it, had your name on their video. It was just so cool and so unique. And I've not known any other company to do that, but it was always fun to order because I'd always look forward to seeing, okay, am I gonna be in this section, you know, for, for today? Am I gonna see my name? And you could see what other people purchased too. So I thought that was, you know, a lot of fun. And then they stopped doing that and they were quite a bit more expensive and I didn't really mind paying the extra expense because of the unique experience. It was like you were getting a gift from a friend and there'd always be something else extra in there, whether it was a cover minder and if you, the more you purchased from them, the better that the gift became. And they had some special drills. They would show you how they would place them. I didn't often buy the enhancement pack just because it was expensive enough for the canvas and also to have it shipped was really expensive too. So I do miss those days. And then that got me thinking to when I first started diamond painting and how because it was during the pandemic that a lot of companies you know they would have they would have some new releases but they would go really fast and it didn't really matter what the canvas was of because people would just buy it because I'm assuming that they were like me, 
that they, you know, needed to do something with their time. And you just got whatever canvas. So I had gotten quite a few canvases that when I look back, I was thinking, oh, I don't know why I even thought about this would be okay. And they were good. It just wasn't my taste. So I have sold quite a few of those last year. And I have a couple more in my stash that when I was going through and de-stashing last year, I was like, uh, I don't know if I want to do this one or not. So I put it over to the side and I'm kind of going through those as well to see, do I want to keep it? Do I want to de-stash? And then I'm working on my oldest kits every year. And I was looking at the oldest five and then there was one that was Diamond Art Club. And I thought, you know, I don't, I opened it up and looked at it again. And I thought, I just don't know if I want to do this one or not. So do you guys um, do that sometimes? You're looking through your stash and, and it, is it you don't want to do it at this point in time? Or do you think you're not going to ever want to do it? And so I'm kind of at that point on some of mine. It's like, okay, do I want to do it? If I had to do this canvas today, do I want to do it? Do I think I'm going to want to do it at some point in time? And so I'm looking at some and it's like, oh no, this doesn't even interest me at all. Then those are the ones that I am going to start doing something with. And I'm not sure what that's going to look like. If I'm going to do some giveaways or if I'm going to try to sell some. But shipping is expensive. It can run into a lot of money on shipping. So because of that, I'm not sure. I'm trying to see a lot of these on here are going to be, it's not going to be a lot of color blocking there. I wonder if you guys can still see, you can see this little section. I'm trying to work on these little percentages to get as much of those as I can done. But one that I've been holding on to for a long time is a Josephine wall. And it is gorgeous finish. I love Josephine wall. But if I'm going to do a Josephine wall at this point, because I have done the massive kits from Diamond Painting Deutschland, it's like, I don't know if it's going to be the same experience if I work on a Diamond Art Club older Josephine wall. So that's kind of where I am on those diamond paintings. It's like, do I, but then I think about, you know, you got to think about this because those are discontinued. Diamond Art Club no longer has licensing with Josephine Wall. And if I de-stash it, it's like, okay, are you going to be okay with it? Because you're not going to be able to get it again. It's going to be hard to find in a de-stash group. And I am pretty much at that point to where, yeah, I'll be okay. Because when I decide that I want to do another Josephine Wall, I will buy another massive painting, massive colors. And I've gotten to where I love doing more colors. More DMC colors in a painting, the better on larger canvases. I wouldn't want to do that on a small one. And Diamond Art Club just came out with a mermaid that is 99 colors. And I absolutely love mermaids. And I thought 99 colors, that is different from Diamond Art Club's normal. So I did go ahead and order that one. And I don't know when I'm going to work on it. I thought about doing that one for Mermaids and Magic. 
that I think is in March, but I don't know if I want to do that then or wait because I do have a couple of mermaids that are in my whips I want to get finished this year. So the perfect opportunity for that would be to do to do one I've already gotten kitted up. It's already started. But I don't know if I if I open it and I see it, I may want to go ahead and start on it just to see how all of the colors are going to work with Diamond Art Club. I'm really curious on that. So that may be something that I may start on in March. I am trying to get through my whips, but I'm not just focusing on those. So who knows if I'll even get those whips finished by the end of the year. But if I start on something such as this one, I am going to finish it before I start on something else. So I'm not going to have any in my whips and at the end of the year that are new unless I have one that I haven't finished and then that one will be part of my whips but otherwise I'm trying to get some of those down. It's also getting a little difficult to store them. My heat just came on. I do apologize in advance for that but it is just too cold not to have it on. And it is rather loud. I don't know, I guess because the furnace is down here and it's right outside my room, but even having my door closed in my craft room, when the heat comes on, it does seem to be really loud. I do try to drown it out as much as I possibly can. And last year, what I did instead of doing my videos in my craft room, I did them in my dining room. So that way the heat wasn't a hindrance, but I prefer to do my videos in the same place because I know about the lighting, I know about the sound. The sound is different upstairs than it is here. And it seems like it has kind of a, I don't want to say background noise, but it just doesn't sound as well in my dining room as it does down here. Or it just sounds different, I should say. So I decided this year I'm just going to do it down here. And whenever the heat comes on, I can stop recording if I need to but I really would prefer not to because then it's kind of choppy. But if you hear a little noise in the background, that's what that is. Let's see. What else is going on? I am working on a cute snowman. I'm doing that upstairs at night. And that may be all the snow that we see, and that is fine by me. But it is nice to do something that's in the winter when it is winter. I still want to get back to my Christmas diamond painting, and I will. I love that one. That was one that I just absolutely had to have. I did start on it, and so I bought something that might be a companion piece for it. So I need to unbox that one. It's also from Dreamer Designs. I need to unbox that one just to make sure everything is okay. That's what I am going to do for Christmas next year. If I don't, if I get the one I already have finished, which I hope so, I'd love to have White Christmas finished and to get it framed before Christmas. We still have 
all of our Christmas decorations, the boxes and everything is in our spare bedroom because it's just too cold for my husband to go up in the attic. It wouldn't be too cold for him just to go up there and put everything up, but it would get the house really cold. Even though it's insulated good up there, it would still bring in a blast of cold air in the house. And so we're just leaving that in our house until he's able to get up there. One little pile. I was able to get those up, but I don't want to do that again. I've never done it before and don't want that to happen again. So let me rearrange and I will be right back. Okay, here's what I've done so far. This is what I'm working on, this section. I'll pull this down, maybe that'll help with the glare. So I worked on today was this section here. So I've gotten that done. And then that pink is kind of hard to see right now, but I've gotten that done. Started working on this long section here last night. But look down at the bottom. I mean, look how shiny and pretty. And I love how this rose here is starting to form on the horse itself. But then if you look at it from a distance here, you can kind of see what this is going to look like. But I really like how all these colors are coming together. Cannot wait to get up to this section where I'm actually going to be diamond painting the horse. So right now it's more of the background, but once I finish the row that I'm working on, I've made this section really large. But once I finish this, these two sections, then I will get to start working on the horse, which I'm really excited about. Hope that you were able to get something done today if you wanted to and that you enjoyed some time just spent with, with me. And I know I enjoyed my time with you guys. It always goes by really fast. I can always think of something to talk about. And I hope that you found some joy in today's video. If you like this video, please click on the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button. That is completely free. It will also notify you when new videos come out. And if you liked this video, you will probably like the video where I did kit this up. It was a little bit of static, but we all got through it together. I will link that underneath the description as well as in the top of the eye. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye.